Hi folks, Jeff here coming to you live from the True Awesome Life RV. And today we're going to talk about setting up your Zoho CRM part one and it's part of our Radically Awesome Ops program. So who am I, you might ask? My name is Jeff Perdue. I also have written under J.P. Atkins. I've been helping people design their future since 1998. And I'm also a Zoho partner. Currently, I'm getting ready to go um, travel to the United States with in my little toy home with my dog, Prince Rupert. And we're getting ready to have a lot of fun. So grab a beer. I got one. And we're going to begin. So the first thing you need to talk about when we talk about our sales flow is how that actually works in Zoho. And for us in Zoho, it goes from leads, the qualified leads, the contacts, the deals. So a lead comes in from whatever source do you have it coming in from. And then you have to qualify them. And you qualify them through your sales process, whatever that looks like. Then you transfer them to a contact and then they become a lead later. Okay, kind of makes sense. Sense, it's okay. We're going to go over that a little bit more in depth in a minute. So today we're really going to talk about the qualified leads because that is your sales process. And I have, I'm going to be working with one of my friends, uh, one of my clients, and to set up their qualified leads system. So are you guys ready? Awesome. So. Look, we're going to go over, I'm going to share my screen real quick. All right. And now we are in Zoho. I actually opened up the CRM. This is what you would happen. We really haven't been working in the CRM right now because we're still setting up. And we're going to be working in the leads section. Okay. If my computer will actually let me work in leads. I don't need to go there anyways. We're, if you click over here on the tools. All right, computer, you can work with me. All righty. And you can go into customization and we're going to go into modules and fields. All right. And then we're going to go into leads. All right, we can go in and we can do a new layout if we wanted to, but I don't wanna do that at the moment. What I wanna do is I wanna play with the fields. All right, and right now this is the all the different fields that we have. We have annual revenue, average time spent, the city, the company, the country, who it's created by, a description, email, email opt-out, um, first page they visited, first visit, uh, the industry they're in, lead source. Okay, and we're going to go down to lead status. And it's a pick a list. And you click in there. Actually, I have to hit click create and edit fields. I'm sorry. I knew that. Alrighty. So I knew it looked a little odd. So in lead status, we're going to add these properties. And we want those to match our sales process. Okay. So it could be attempted to contact, could be contact in the future. And I don't like contact in the future. I want an actual date there. Okay, so I want contact. Um, in this one, it's contact in three days. 
we're going to do another one. Contact in seven days. And follow up sequence. These are for people that don't know, you know, maybe all that. Okay, I don't need a pre-qualified. I do need a... Okay. I cannot remove that one. Good to know. All right, but what I can do is I can add... There though. So I'm going to take that out. And we're going to go down. I want it to be in. So pre qualified, I want this to be first call. Then I want second call scheduled. All right. So our default value is going to be You know what? I don't actually want a default value for this one. I do want it to be required. And we're going to display the values alphabetically instead of order entered. And we are going to be done. So what we're going to do here what is why this is important because this is all going to go into our blueprint and each of these options will have a something that's associated with it an action that's associated so for instance if the first call is scheduled um they did the first call they will get email that f with the follow-up for that and they might get a follow-up sequence for that call and then the second call is scheduled we might have a sequence that happens there so we want to make sure that that's all set up correctly Okay. I really hope that helps you. Oh, we want to make sure that we save. Always, always, always save. And we should be going back into here. And I got a couple really cool things for you guys today. So the first one is our workflow worksheet. And you know what? I'm all about getting rid of digital cellulite. You know, all those random things that you don't, you kind of collected over the years and all these tools and that they don't really talk to each other. So you're spending a lot of time going from tool to tool to tool. And you can actually get rid of a lot of those by just getting clear on your process. So your back end can be really sexy. And there's a link below for that. Also, Zoho One, you know, I haven't found anything that's better than this. It's the most comprehensive set of applications that I have found. It has, it's scalable, it has affordable, it's a dollar per person per day. And you get a 30 day free trial by clicking the link below for that. And as always, you are loved. You know, check me out. I'm at JP Atkins Design. Check out some of my other videos. If you like what I'm doing here, please, please, please subscribe and share these. Give, leave me a comment. Anything that I missed out, anything that you want to say, you can say it to me. I can take it and know each and every single one of them. You really are loved. Thank you so much for sharing this time with me. I'll talk to you soon. Enjoy your beer.